Hello everyone. Here you can see some 9 kilowatt continuous reflux steel. Now here's the steel. It's going up. Here we some heads from the top of the column. Here we got some body. Just a good alcohol is a steam generator on this side. Here you can see the water ducted in the control tube. This particular tube shows the level of the wash within the column. Here's water entails that we cutting. So here's a water separator. Down below the waste product is going to the drain. This one can still contain some alcohol, so I'm not throwing the waste straight away, then I, I will cool it down, measure if I've got something, I will run it through this particular steel once more. This particular valve is for the alcohol flow control and also reflux control. This one controls the amount of heads you can cut, you can bleed from the column. Here's a production flow. You can increase or decrease the flow. Here is a submergible pump and it's pumping the wash. The wash is not that great, about 7, maybe 8 percent. So the steel is running, running fine without any problems, without any hiccups, apart from the slight leakage from under the thread. So here at the top you can see another tube. It's an alcohol level control tube within the head of the column. It's heavy, but it doesn't occupy half of the workshop or distillery floor one square meter of the floor area and can process indefinite amount of wash in one go into the drinkable alcohol. Running at 90% approximately right now. It takes a lot of water for cooling so some cooling arrangement with a water tank, a radiator, now finishing distillation, running the water that's been separated by the steel. This one. This one is the second second run already, so this one will be thrown away. When your distillation is about to be finished, you can run it instead of wash and collect some more alcohol. And this is it.